Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Come here. Uh, oh, so Mars is known for salvage. Yeah, crap. I can't forget. I can't remember what specifically their high-end um item. Each one has a high-end like fuck has a high-end rare um uh, item, and I can't remember what Mars is. Come here. Oh, we're just exterminating. Uh, this is not more. What is it? Morphix, I think, is this one. Damn. You gotta stab him and then shoot him in the head. Come here. Sorry, my cat wants me. Uh, but no, I think this place is the Morphix. That's the one. You need help opening a door? What the fuck, man? There we go. <laughs> we just run around. Oh, really? I hate these guys. The Exilus. Exilus people? Yeah, no, I hate them. Because I will say, those are the only ones you actually have to worry about. Because the one who can send out fire will actually fucking kill you. Especially when in higher levels. Oh, no. I've, I learned the hard way. They, they will kill you. Oh yeah, so it is Morphic Stabilizer. So come here. Come here, boy. So this is the Morphic Stabilizer. That's what will give you the like the yeah, the rare the rarer item. The same way um uh what is it? One of the other planets will give you Orkin cells and you have to look for the special container that has it. Oh, I haven't even yeah. dropped my balls yet. There we go. Ball drop. God. Oh, another Morphix. Come here. Come here. Ah, doesn't want to be with me. Oh, are you using the heat sword? No, I'm using these, uh, it's like dual wield um, katanas. Oh, really? Shit. I, yeah. Even I haven't had those. I, I can make a set right now, but... No, wait, can I? No, I can't. I don't have enough weapon slots, god damn it. I will let you know, that's the one thing you will realize. Weapon slots are limited. Um, if you ever go to... For a weapon slot. Um, it's how many weapons you can actually hold on your inventory. Um, whenever you go to, to build something, it'll tell you at the bottom how many you have left. Or if you go to... Oh, you can't do it here. If you go to your inventory specifically, it will also tell you how many you have open to use um eventually you're able yeah you where are we going oh it's upstairs oh follow me follow me follow me Whee! So would i have to like destroy some weapons um yeah eventually you will um eventually yeah that's the one thing i've realized i'm like oh that sucks you can only hold so many weapons so it is one of those if you find one weapon you're like oh hell yes i'm going to use this forever keep it but if you find another weapon that's, you know, far better, then you kind of have to make your choice. I've had to make, like, yeah. I've had to make a few choices where I'm like, mmm, I don't want to. Actually, no, no, you know what's better? Only destroy weapons you know are easy to craft or you can easily buy. Like, if you know it's something... Like, a few of them you'll see, you're like, hmm, okay, I might not be able to get this again. Keep the blueprint. Maybe build some of the parts, but don't fully build it. That's what I've been doing. I've been kind of waiting around, be like, hmm, should I keep this? Should I keep this? That is the one downside. You do have to kind of like... Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let me go take a look at that. Yeah, go to the foundry over here. It'll say at the bottom when you hover over a weapon how many weapon slots you have. Warf It'll even tell you how many. You also have a limited amount of Warframe slots, so you can only hold so many. Eventually in the game, when you trade enough stuff for Platinum, you can buy more slots. But that's where the, gr the real grind starts coming into because, you know, eventually you want to be able to keep everything. Also, where the yeah. fuck do I get Stephalus from? Let me, um... Okay, so, how do, how do you get more weapon slots, you say? So, weapon slots... Let's see... They're on, the only way I know right now is either buying Platinum and spending Platinum, or if you go to... 
God, the, the next one I'm about to get is if you go to your... Go to where the navigation menu is, like where it pops up up. You see this, you'll see this little red, um... It's called the Night Wave. One of the, um... Level 9 on the Night Wave will give you two extra weapon slots. That is the... Where's that up? Um, so the Night Wave is... You know the little stairs that go down into the, um, bowels? Right before you hit the stairs, look to your right. When you're in the main cockpit, go near the stairs, go to the right, you'll see something called the Night Wave. Oh, okay. Go to that. So, level 9 are two weapon slots. That is the only way I know you'll get more slots of anything. Stuff like that. Um, right. now, the only other way to do this is also by buying platinum. Or getting platinum from trading with other people. That is where and why trading is so important. But the grind is also so important because the only things you can trade from, a, from what I've tried are blueprints, I think warframes, and certain resources. Certain things cannot be traded, I think. It's very common. Uh, uh, you have 50? You can yeah, buy, you can, bad. yeah, you can buy more um, weapon slots if you want to. All you have to do is... Huh. That's a good question. Fuck. Um, go to the start menu, go to equipment, go to inventory, and then just... What is it? Go to Warframes or Weapons, and yeah, just you can buy more weapon slots. Okay. How many weapon slots do I have? I do not have any more. So if only 12 flat adds me two weapon slots, any bad. Mm -hmm. But remember, it's extremely hard to get platinum outside of trading or buying, straight out. That, that's where the problem lies. It's such a, mm, should I, do I wanna, and then... Cause, Cause I've already spent all my platinum and I can't get it back cause I can't trade yet. Or at least I don't have enough stuff to trade with people. Cause when I was looking at people trading, they're trading primes, like the higher versions of what we have. Which again, we don't even have the higher versions of stuff. We just have, God, I can't even remember I, I wonder if you destroyed a weapon, does it take away all the levels and stuff that you got off of it? That is a good question. Um, huh, shit, that is a good question. Um, I do believe it does. Let me see, because I have the Dragoon. I've destroyed. I've destroyed the Strun before. Wait, have I? Yes, I have destroyed the Strun. And I'm pretty sure I will. Oh, the. Oh, I'm using the weak version of the Paris? God damn it. Alright, let me get rid of that then. Um. Actually, while. Well, let me uh, see. I'm gonna go and destroy something or sell it. Because I have something I don't need. Or I don't. It's not a. It's, um, also, from what Taylor told me today, Mach 1 are not as good as the original. Or as the um, regular named items so if it ever says Mach 1 Paris or Mach 1 like Lex or fucking Bratton it's not as good the regular Bratton is better from what I remember from what he told me because I don't I, I don't know why exactly it just is but let me see if what you said was correct cuz if I tried I'm pretty sure I could so let me see if I have to buy, so buy specifically. Ooh, it does. It does get rid of your ranks. But. It gets get rid of your levels? Yes, but. I already built the MK1 Paris. I did not have to build, build it again. Now. That's just from right here, right now. I don't know. Since I already built it, I did not have to go and build it again through a blueprint. I could have, I can have it. However, it does get rid of all of my ranks. 
However, I never upgraded the rank a lot. Like, I didn't do much of it. Like, um, it was never like a mastery rank one or two or anything. It was just max rank and or no, it was just rank 16. So I will, so I will say, I don't know about that. I don't know. I have not gotten rid of any, fuck, let me get rid of the weapon anyway again. Cause I don't need it. Uh, let me see. I don't know so if you get rid of it. You don't need the materials to make it again. I don't think so. Now that is just from this recent. I just sold it again. Let me try. Let me see if I can if I can buy it again. I can buy it again. Yeah, no. So if you've built it and then you sell it, you do not have to build it again. From what I understand. From what I from uh yeah, like the Mach 1 Strun I sold I could buy again and I don't have to um build it again. So that so so I take that back. So if you want to build something and you can't even use it, and you can't even use it, now the thing is, I have not tried this on any other high-end weapon. I've only tried this on like the Strun, the Paris, and that's it. Anything else, I don't know. Now I don't think it should change. Now I'm not doing it to any of my really good weapons just because I'm like, eh. I don't wanna. Krakata. So where, where would I go to get that weapon back if I sold it? Um, you just go, so go to your arsenal. So like where you're going through your, like your Warframe, your um, weapon side, melee and Parazon. Fuck, hate the Parazon. Yeah. Um, just go to swap and then you go back down the list of whatever you just sold. Um, for me, I can buy the Paris and the Mach 1 Strunigan for credits rather than platinum. So that is another thing. You can just buy everything again with um, credits so it's not nearly as expensive. Okay. Now, again, I haven't done this to anything major that I've built. Let me see. Um, let's see. I have. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of one of my good weapons or one of the weapons I actually found or i got a blueprint for and i'm gonna see if not a blueprint i actually made it it's called the despair it's a side weapon i'm gonna sell it and see if i can buy it back again if i can then that makes it a lot better uh, taylor said M uh, mk1 is worse yeah than regular. yeah mk1s are worse they're not as good now, okay, so I do not have that weapon again. That is not good. Okay, so, uh, fuck. I might have made a mistake here. Okay, so, little bit of advice. Do not sell anything you cannot directly get from the store. Because I just sold something and I can't get it back. I think I will have to um, make it again. Or, shit, yeah. Cause it's not in the store and it's a side weapon. Mm. So, little bit of advice. If you cannot build it or buy it directly from the like weapon slot menu store-ish thingy, do not sell it. Because I just sold something called the Despair, it's a kunai, and I cannot find it on this list. Or shit yeah that's a problem that's a little bit of a problem so you know how if you go to your we like your main weapon and you go down the list of all these weapons you can buy you're probably locked by mastery rank and all that yeah yeah don't the only things you can sell and buy back are any of these weapons from the um store here if it's not in this store or you cannot directly see it do not sell it. Obviously, at this point, for me, a lot of these I would be happy to have, and I probably won't do much with them. Like I won't get rid of get rid of any of them. Yeah. But my but there is one weapon I just sold on the um as a side weapon, and I do not think I can get it back. I have to actually farm for it again. So yeah, that's a bit of a kick in the nuts. <clears throat> 
Excuse me. Goddamn. What's up? What is the stoog? What the fuck is the stoog? Oh. Damn. The Sycorus. Alright, so since I'm already back to doing all that shit. Oh, man. What? That's pretty cool. You can um turn in these relics and get blueprints. Get a chance to get blueprints. What do you mean? Where? Alright, so you know in your ship where you can go, uh, you know where your arsenal is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take like a hard right. Yeah. Like this little ball. Yeah, the relic, um, the void relics. Yeah. And you can trade them in for blueprints. You can't. No, 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 no. You cannot trade them in. You have to use them in a mission to make them drop. You cannot trade. Uh -oh. No, no, no. See, the. Okay, so. Have you ever seen a fissure um, mission? Where. Okay, uh. Alright, so. Do you want to try one so we can understand how it works? Yeah, but do I need to go ahead and equip this relic? No, you'll equip it at the mission. So, I'll show you. Right. So, because uh, because this is what Taylor had to teach me. So, let's go to a T1 fissure. So, let's go to navigation. Actually, it might be easier. Quest, alerts, invasions. Ooh, invasions. Void fissures. I can go to a void fissure. Let's go to an easy one. And there's not a lot of easy ones. Let's go to lith fissure V prime Venus. What the? Can I go there? Can I go to fucking Venus? Oh, Venus. Okay, so yeah. We both can go. That's good. Or we should be able to go. So we're going to go to this fissure. Alright. So I'm about to... Okay, so... Alright, so we are going to this mission. Are you allowed to go to this mission? Fuck, what mission is it? It's survival. It's a without choosing a relic. Okay, so I gotta choose a relic. Yeah, you have to choose a relic. So you choose a relic, it'll sh it should show you all the stuff it drops. You, in the mission, if it, if we crack open the relic, it will then let you choose, usually, something that you want or it's something that you'll get or gain from it. Maybe. Um... But no, you have to. Will it do this every time we do a fissure mission? Yes. A it's, fissure yeah, mission? it's specifically for t it's specifically for any mission that says fissure right there in the middle. Anytime it says that, you will have to equip a relic. That is okay. that. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and that's how. That's the other. That's another piece of getting pieces of a warframe. Only issue is, is these are usually primes, and primes are even harder to get than regular shit. So you know, yeah. so you know, it's great. Oh, that's pretty cool though. But no, so yeah. I'm gonna start it up. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see which one I want to equip. And see, that's the one thing where I'm like, well, at this point, and this is where I kind of collect blueprints because most of the time I don't even get the fucking I don't have anything to even I don't have enough of the pieces to even get them and then sometimes it's harder to grab the other piece because sometimes you can upgrade the relic to make it drop better or better chance to drop the other items in it but with that comes that's this is another side of the grind that's kind of oh and it's survival yay Oh, this is going to be great. Well, we're here together. React and coolant. Okay, so react and coolant is the thing we got to... Oh, shit. It's this mission where we have to have life support. Fuck. Oh, so it survivals. Ooh, this is going to be fun. So... So let's try and avoid the life support until like about 50% if possible, and let's just survive. Um, because sadly I do not have a Warframe like Taylor did that can just give you life support, sadly. 
Oh. So, you'll see a bit of this. Oh, a hero chest is already nice. Yeah, so this is kind of how it. So this will be this is gonna be intense. Oh, it is. Uh damn. Fuck. Yep. Oh no, it's hard for a reason. Well, I got the I got the arrow chest as blueprint. You did nice. So I also realized I think fissures also have a better chance of dropping just naturally. I think more blueprints in general so i think that's a possibility so you see how you have reactants collected yeah that is the thing you're trying to get because once you have all 10 collected it opens up the relic and then you're actually able to um then you'll actually get the reward yeah re relic cracked you'll now have the reward of whatever the relic is the problem of the game now is lasting to five minutes now which is fun, right? Yes. Mm. Bingo. And dead. Oof. God, this... Now, I will say, these will give you a lot of resources, usually. Ooh, but I also forgot the enemies are also harder. Oh, you have lightning, you bitch. Mm. Oh, sh oh, I see what it does. There's an enemy type that makes them invulnerable for just a little bit. And that is bitchy. Oh, I'm a fucking corpus too. God damn it. Mm. Oh yeah, we just gotta survive like two more minutes. No, oh, it's fine, it's fine. I sh we should have probably uh, well, in modified our people just a little bit better. God damn it. Excuse me. Oh, I can't destroy the light. Oh, let's go. So now it's just now it's just surviving to five minutes. Hmm. Ah. So we just gotta survive uh, five minutes. Yep, five minutes is the five. It, I think it goes by every five minutes is a new um. Every five minutes is a new what would they call it? Uh, pff, milestone, I guess you'll call it. Um, once yeah, once you hit for the first five minutes, though, you are allowed to leave. But depending on how you feel, you can go farther and unlock more relics, if you wish. What if you lose? See, that's the question. I have never lost, because Taylor was fucking uh, carrying my ass, so, oh. you know, loss is a... I th See, that's where I don't know, because... God, I yeah, I really don't know. I mean, we're not doing bad now. No, we're not doing bad. You think we could last another five minutes? Oh, yeah, I think we could. Now, after that, I'm definitely going to be like, yeah, let's go. Because life support isn't going to be the issue. It's going to be the enemies. And then I'm going to have to actually pull out my goddamn weapons. Oh, wrong button. God damn it. Bingo. Laser from above. Oh, he is fan fucking fantastic. I hate when they do that so much. Yeah, these are the these are the kind of missions if you know you're about to do a T fissure, that's when you go like, "All right, let me grab all the good shit I have and just try my best cuz it is these are made to be harder." So, I just realized I don't know how this works now because I think it should give us a ch oh see the number at the top yeah it should tell us like hey retrieving rewards so now you can choose 
I want the bread. I'm taking the bread and prime barrel. Yeah, tradable. Oh, it even tells you if it's a uh, tradable. That's cool. That's nice. Oh, so if we continue, you can. Uh, yeah, I'm can. I'm gonna continue, and then we can leave. So do I? I'm supposed to You're so, click another? Yeah, one. click another one. Another? Equip it. Yeah, C click another one. Equip it, and then we'll leave. If we leave. It's fine. It's fine. I got no relic. Yeah, I think that might be a mess up. Regardless, do you want to leave or stay? Up to you. Oh shit, treasurer. Fucking a treasurer in this kind of level. I'm curious to see what he drops. Come back here, you bastard. Treasurer, get back here. <laughs> what? Alright, what do you want to do? Do you want to stay or leave? Oh, we can stay. Alright, we're already at six minutes, so we're good. Ah, oh, you goddamn invincible, invincible bastards. So, yeah, this is how it kind of works. Um,. Certain ones are a little bit easier to manipulate or run through. Fuck. Okay, you. Oh, by the way, each level you go through higher adds levels to the um enemies as well. So they were originally level ten. Now they're level eleven. So eh, you know. The more you play. So we could really just run around. Oh, oh yeah, as long as you have enough um, life support, technically, yeah. Um, the only thing is, like I said, I don't know what happens if you technically die too many times. I don't know if you lose everything or if you keep some of it. I really don't know. I've never yeah. decided to find. I've never found out. You know, not not one of the choices. Oh shit. Bingo. Whew. It is, uh. Sometimes it's just kind of worrisome. Relic cracked. Yay, I didn't even realize. Okay, so we have to finish it. Then we'll get the reward. Then we can leave. And I think we'll be able to take the rewards. And I do not think it will consume a relic if we leave. I think it will just be like, oh, you didn't use it. So oh, really? I don't think so. Now, that's just me with high hopes here. It could completely be like, oh, you used it. Bullshit. Fuck you. Remember, it's Warframe. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Now, from what I remember. Ooh. Now, the, this game also, like I said, I think drops more resources in general anyway. So... These are better to run through anyway. However, it is easier to play with people. I think I've tried this once by myself and yeah, it didn't go so well. I survived, I, yeah, I survived for like, you know, a minute or like a five minutes and then I left immediately. Oh, I forgot, I, these flying things we gotta kill. Those things give them shields and we don't like that. Oof. We God Jesus. Oh, why are you invisible? Damn it. Or damn. Oh, my sh No, my pistol is slow reload. Oh, yeah. There we go.
Oh, you, you know how to take him down. Nice. Oh, god damn it. There you go. There we go. Mm. Yeah, I know this could get really, really intense. Oh, and, and remember, this is only level like what, eleven through thirteen. Fucking Taylor brought me to like a level forty once, and I was like, oh god, don't do that, don't do that. Obviously, he just took care of everything. I was just a nice person, you know, running around with my head cut off. But no, level like forties. I'm just, I'm just over here thinking like, yeah, I, I'm not doing that anytime soon. So what's the upside of doing it on a higher level? You get more chances for them. To um, I'm level. pretty, I'm pretty sure it probably is better loot in general. I think now I've never tried Protea Prime systems. Well, I don't, I don't need the Protea. Prime. Why is it not letting me click a war? It's not letting me click a uh, reward. It isn't. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, see, I'm okay. So now we can leave. We can just. I think you can choose one and. Into the extraction place. Yeah, quit for mission. Yeah, I quit for my mission. My selection is pending. Oh, Cobra and Crane Prime. God damn. Some of these get. Yeah, some of these get real. Mm, like. It's the, it's like the rare is the only way to, now we have to fucking leave. Just watch, just follow your map and run the hell away. Be a bitch. Thing. Be a bitch and run. Be a sassy little, ah, where the hell is the map? Ah, am I, am I an idiot? Ah, I'm getting pushed away. Run, run. Alright, I'm about to be there. Alright, go, run, 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 daddy. Oh, it's right there. I didn't even realize him. <laughs> Let's run. Let's go. Woo! Okay, so that is a tea fissure, or that's a, any sort of fissure, and so you do collect your rewards. Oh, I already have two? What do you mean? Oh, did I collect? Oh, I collected. God damn it. So. Okay, so I don't even know if it used the um, thing. I don't think it should have. Uh, the way I. Now, obviously, that's how I think. It shouldn't have. God, where is my thing? That's a good way to get resources. Oh, it's great. You get a lot of stuff out of it. Now, like void traces. Oh, that's good. You get void traces. Void traces help you upgrade relics so that it has a better chance of dropping even more rare items from those. Like, these were my, I think, like a common and a rare. Then you can get to, like, excellent. Oh, yeah. But you definitely get more. Yeah, and remember, certain ones... And, so, and see, but that's the thing, there's a lot of relics. I have, I don't even have that many, but I have, God, Neo, I don't even know what a Neo fissure, a piece, a Neo Z10 relic. I don't even, I don't know. Oh yeah, rem oh, if you ever look down the list of, um, ever look down the list, oh, there's 608 relics, different types relics? of relics. Yeah, there are 608 different types of relics. If you go to the very if you go to the very top, it will tell you how many you've collected out of. And yeah, there's um 608. So, a lot. A shit ton. And I'm pretty sure each one holds a different Oh. Never mind. The the very oh Ex Exilus weapon adapter blueprint. So, some of these start getting into... Ooh. Oh, so I guess on certain on certain fissions or fissures or whatever, you have to use a certain relic. Like, some relics won't be able to be used in some places. I don't know. I really don't know. For now... Example, for example, like, Venus is only the Lith R5 or the Lith relic. Oh, some of this messed up relics. oh, really? You know what? I never thought about that. Shit, let me look at it. Uh, 8C relics. Oh no, though. You're right. You're right. You're right. So there are. Oh, so you have to even wait for certain fissures, too. God damn it. That's. Yeah, the meso fissure, the lith. Oh, wow. The neo. Oh. Neo. Oh, neo is in, Nep is in the Neptune planet. So I can't go there. I can't. I can go to the void one, but I'm good right now. I don't want to do that again, because. Actually, no, I have to see if I can make anything now. Shit. I can build a harrow, but I thought I already had one. 
I can't. And then you get boy traces, and then you can you can refine. Yeah, once, you, yeah, and refining gives you a better chance of dropping the rare. Ooh, I thought I saw something funky about that though. Let me see, because I have one exceptional. Oh, so there is something that happens here. So, at the very top is your commons, the lower is rare, and then your last one is. Whatever you would fucking call rare, yeah, rare. So, however, the more rare your relic gets, the higher chance you get certain things, but it also takes away from your more common stuff. Now, that's good because your common still has a really good chance, but, like, my one I'm looking at is the, the Acarius Prime Receiver. Oh, <gasps> I just realized. I just realized, uh, one, some of your relics drop formal blueprints? Holy crap, that is something you're gonna need a lot of, the form. Yeah, so that. that's how you get forma, you have to go and do relics. Okay, okay. Yeah, and forma- Oh yeah, oh, speaking of which, um, go to your arsenal, go to a weapon, or just go to your upgrade menu, and then press down on the, on the right stick. Upgrade and then right on the down stick. Yeah, down on the right stick. Yeah. Okay. So that brings you up to the real complex shit. So you have auto install. Auto install gives you all the well. I won't call it the best items because sometimes you want certain things. Upgrade means upgrade means you will double the mod capacity. So you'll be able to put in higher mod. Certain mods have more you know, energy they use. So, natural 30, then you can go up to 60. Polarization changes one of the slots to one of those symbols, which lowers the cost, but it also upgrades your weapon. You need Forma to do that. That is where things really start getting... Now, I don't know if Polarization also actually upgrades your weapon, or if it just makes it a new Mastery rank, but that is how you... Yeah, max, like, I need max rank Dragoon to polarize it. The polarize... Oh, so you can add or modify the polarity of a slot. Now, does it... I feel like fissions are really used. I feel like fissions are really what you need to start doing whenever you complete all the... Um, story oh, yeah, you really... I'm pretty sure you get heavy into that shit, because it... Mm, and that's... Uh, it's... It's it's great. It's good. I'm about to go pee. I'll be right back. Yeah, actually, I was gonna, I was gonna let you know. I gotta go talk to um my, my girls, um my cousins downstairs. I will call you later. Is that fine? Uh, yeah, what fine. time are you gonna be here on later today? Uh, I'll probably still be on. All right. I'm probably gonna stay on all that. To be honest. Damn. All right. All right, man. I'll call you later. Okay. All right. Just text me on Discord. All right, man. Peace.